All right, we're out here in West Abbotsford today at this pretty much brand new mall, High Street Mall. Don't know why there's an outdoor mall in one of the rainiest cities in BC, but we're gonna show you around Abbotsford today for all of you out-of-towners. Stick around. So High Street Mall is located pretty much at the beginning of Abbotsford, like almost on the border of Alder Grove, which is Deep Langley, and Abbotsford. And this is the newest addition to Abbotsford, I would say. That's a pretty well big development uh, featuring, you know, Sephora, Below the Belt, I think. They've got a Lululemon here now, Urban Barn movie theater. They've got a whole bunch of amenities here. And it's very close to the highway, right beside the highway. So uh, one of the, I wouldn't call it a main attraction, but uh, one of the things you can do here in Abbotsford. Oh, and the Canadian Brew House. I almost forgot about that one. Love that restaurant. Used to actually drive from Surrey to Abbotsford just to go to that restaurant back when I lived in Surrey. And I think there's only one here and one in Richmond, and that's it. That's a great sports bar. Now, we're gonna take you guys on a ride through my city. So this is what most of West Abbotsford looks like. It's 1990s homes on 6,000 square foot lots roughly five, five to like 6,500 square foot lots, 1990s homes. This is what most of West Abbotsford is gonna look like. So you can get a, like these houses that we're looking at here are probably 1.1, 1.15-ish, I wanna say, million, of course. But they're quality homes. A lot of them do have suites, above ground suites, double car garage. Right here we are, West Ridge. I'm sure there's another name that people call this area. I call it West Ridge. This area is mostly going to be Punjabi, um, South Asian. These townhomes were selling for almost a million bucks in February 2022. Now you can get one in the sevens, believe it or not. Get a nice two bedroom condo, probably under 500,000. It'll be a little bit older, maybe eight to 10 years old, eight to 12 years old. Uh, townhomes, you can get with a seven in front of it, with a six in front of it, if you want like a two bed, three bath. And then detached homes, you're probably over a million, 1.1-ish, something like that for West Abbotsford. But West Abbotsford, it's the closest to downtown Vancouver. You're about, without traffic, 40 minutes to downtown Vancouver and it is closest to Surrey, Langley, and it has the most amenities with the High Street Mall and the movie theater. Um, you're very close to the airport as well. So West Abbotsford's gonna be, you know, if, if you're into amenities and all that kind of thing, this is gonna be the area of Abbotsford you wanna be in. Straight ahead over there, if you can see far enough ahead of us, is actually the United States of America. All right, and right around here is where your door should be locked going <laughs> forward. McClure, they call this area McClure. It's actually a decent area. There's, there's a lot of good 1990s townhomes in this area up on the hill. I like a good 1990s townhome because the floor plans are much bigger and they're old, but they're not old enough where there's gonna start being catastrophic issues for the most part. Obviously read through the strata documents and make sure that that's the case, but there's still a lot of 1990s townhomes in great shape and they have great floor plans. You get a lot more space at a much cheaper price than you would with a newer 2017 or newer townhome, right? So McClure, there's a lot of 1990s townhomes to choose from. And uh, well, before the market started taking off again, back when it, it bottomed in November, you could get like a 2,500 square foot townhome for under 600,000, which is crazy. All right, now we are entering central Abbotsford which isn't the best area, but it's cheap. Again, it's good for first time home buyers and stuff like that. That's where I bought for my first home, uh, principal residence. I compare it to Surrey Central uh, or like Wally, I, I would compare it to, or maybe like a Guilford. Um, but uh, like I said, there are some amenities, it's close to the highway and it's a good starter entry point to get into the market. So we're coming up on Clearbrook Road here in Abbotsford, people talk about this area like it's the plague uh, but if you're from out of town you can tell me what you think about it in the comments people walking a golden retriever with their kid right there take a look at that would this be such a bad area if there was golden retrievers walking around the area yeah central abbotsford actually has about 15 golden retrievers per capita one of the highest in bc 
possibly all of the Western Hemisphere. Right, and actually golden retrievers are directly correlated to property values and depreciation. The more golden retrievers, the higher the property values will go in the macro long term. The numbers don't lie. They don't lie. If you deny that, you're literally denying science. You can look it up. Golden retrievers per capita. Yeah, good luck. G-R-P-C. So Abbotsford's really weird. They've they've built towers in random places. We have like eight towers spread out across Abbotsford, which is actually the biggest city in BC by landmass, but most of it's farmland. But we have towers just spread out randomly throughout the city, um, which is interesting. Not sure why the city did that when they did it, but uh, that right there was one of the first ones, and that was a luxury tower back in 1994 or whatever it is. Um, the whole lobby and everything is marble, gold hardware, gold finishes, gold doorknobs and stuff like that. Um, but uh, obviously today now it's a normal tower, but back then that tower was, as they would say, the shit. Downtown Abbotsford, we're on South Fraser Way. This is the main artery road in Abbotsford. Uh, if you're from Surrey, this is basically the Fraser Highway. And this is what you get in Abbotsford, mountain views, Right, like imagine if you were in the top floor of that tower over there, look at the mountain views you would have in that tower. And those are pretty cheap. So the, the units in that tower, they're all about 1,200, 1,300 square feet and they're selling under 500,000. You get the beautiful view of the mountains. We have another mall in Central Abbotsford called Seven Oaks and West Oaks Mall. It's the same mall, uh, it's just one of them is across the street, so they call it Seven Oaks and West Oaks. It's an older mall, but it is amenities. I will go there to shop. They have a Foot Locker and the Bay and whatever else and the bank. Everything is there. So I actually was there this morning. Um, so another good amenity you have here in Abbotsford. And then um, also Abbotsford has a hookah lounge. It's the only hookah lounge in the Fraser Valley. And they're actually, by zoning, not allowed to open up any more hookah lounges. So once that one closes, there'll be no more ever again. And it is the only one in the valley. So if you're into hitting the hookah, you may just want to buy some property in Abbotsford because we got the only one. Okay, now we are entering historic downtown Abbotsford. I've done a video on this before called BC's coolest neighborhood. This is my favorite neighborhood in Abbotsford and it has that old country western cowboy kind of feel. This is probably the most amenity rich area in Abbotsford. Pubs, breweries, cafes, everything. And it's all trendy, it's all trendy stuff. We just opened a new brewery called Old Yale Brewery. There's Fieldhouse Brewery, which people come from Surrey Langley, travel 30 minutes just to go to this brewery. But look at this area, hey, you get that country feel. You can definitely tell this was a dirt road at one point. You have a front lawn. They put chairs out on the front lawn, blankets, whatever. It's a really cool vibe at nighttime too because they have all the light bulbs. And you can just drink a beer on the lawn. And it's one of the only breweries, maybe the only brewery where you can do that. So people love it in the summertime. All right, so now we're still in central Abbotsford, but we're two minutes away from the beginning of East Abbotsford, which is my personal uh, other, well, other than historic downtown Abbotsford, which is amenity rich, East Abbotsford is my favorite neighborhood for living if you have a family. Historic downtown Abbotsford is more trendy, younger couples, you know, bachelors kind of area. But uh, if you have a family, good schools, you want a little bit more space, you're gonna go to East Abbotsford. So that highway will take you into Mission. Mission's a small town north of Abbotsford, population about 40,000. Mission is, as they call, the country. Maybe, let me know in the comments if you want me to do a video on mission. I'll go do a video on mission too. I'm gonna comment and just say mission. And let me know if you guys actually appreciate content like this. I know it's a little bit different, um, but uh, you know, if you're not from Abbotsford and you're thinking of moving here, I couldn't find any content of anybody actually showing people what the city looked like. So I thought people might appreciate this. If not, let me know in the comments and I'll never do this again. There's an exit onto highway one. If you were to go past that, uh, you can actually go straight to the Canada-US border and go into the States. It's about eight minutes down the road from here, as well as uh, Costco is right there too. So East Abbotsford is a little bit older than West Abbotsford. All the homes here are typically built from 1972 to 1983, that kind of range. 
They're all on bigger lots, about 7,200 square feet or bigger, 7,200 to 10,000 square feet. Um, this area here is called McMillan that we're going into. Now, me personally, I love a 1970s home on a 7,000 square foot lot for a multitude of reasons. So number one, they're split level homes. We call them BC boxes. And they usually have uh, an upstairs and a downstairs. And for the most part, you can almost always turn the downstairs into a secondary suite. So you'll have two sources of income with these homes if you can convert it, uh, or it may already have a suite. And because it's on such a big lot, there's always a chance that it'll be zoned for a higher density, which instantly increases the value of the home. So there's a lot you can do at these lots, tear them down, build a nicer, bigger home. Sometimes you can put two of them together. Okay, now you can build about four townhomes. Uh, you get a couple of them together, you know, now you can build a whole townhome complex. Uh, there's a lot of options that you have with these homes. So in my opinion, they're just about the best investment you can make in this market is a 1970 split level home on a 7,000 plus square foot lot. And that's what this area pretty much is. That's pretty much every single home in this area. So I wanna take a drive down here because exactly what I just explained people do at these lots is happening in this neighborhood. So, wow, look at this house. So I sold this house last year. Look at the size of this house that they're throwing on that very same lot. It almost looks like it's a three-story home, but it's not, it's two stories. So on that one, this looks a little bit bigger than 7,000, so this might be 9,000 square foot lot. Um, but these guys are building probably a 4,500 square foot home on that lot, right? So um, they're almost definitely gonna be making a profit on that. And then if you look here, you know, there's another one right there. These lots are perfect for that, right? So you buy a split level home, rent out the downstairs, as you know, you're going through the city's approval process, getting your permits in, they give you the okay to build. You're getting a decent income from renting out the upstairs and the downstairs to cover most of your expenses while you're going through that appro uh, approval process. Or you just hold it for eight years and sell it to somebody else who wants to build something on it. But either way, I just feel like these, these homes give you the most amount of options you could possibly have in an investment in real estate, in my opinion, for, for a, an investment that's, you know, under a million bucks type of deal. So this area, I believe is called Sumas Mountain. It's a very nice area. These homes are cheaper because they're far away from amenities. They're far away from the city. Um, they're, they're kind of out in a rural area, but uh, beautiful homes, beautiful view of the Fraser Valley, depending on where the house is situated and they're all bigger, newer homes. You know, at the back of these homes, they probably have balconies and decks that basically oversee the entire Fraser Valley all the way into the States, probably all the way into Surrey, Langley area. Um, you're not gonna get a better, a better view than this in the Valley. This is, the, this is as good as it gets in the Valley. So what comes out of that area, either it's cheaper, it's further away, it's further east. There's some amenities here, grocery stores and restaurants and stuff to do. And they also have Castle Fun Park, which is, I don't even know what to call it. It's like a mini theme park, I guess. Doesn't doesn't have any rides, just like mini golf and I guess like an arcade. And now we are on Highway 1, the main highway in Metro Vancouver. That's Poplar, South Abbotsford, the area I was talking to you guys about. It's not very big. Actually, you know what? You know what they do have, actually? Abbotsford Event Center. So there's concerts there. Uh, we have a hockey team, the Abbotsford Canucks that play there. Um, which is a fun time. Uh, Dallas Smith will go play concerts there. I've seen Dallas Smith twice and I live very close to it so I can literally just walk to the Abbotsford Event Center. And the University of the Fraser Valley is all in South Abbotsford. So I actually completely forgot about that. South Abbotsford has the Event Center, which is a pretty decent attraction to Abbotsford because you know Surrey doesn't have an Event Center. Pretty sure Coquitlam doesn't. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, that's great that we have that. But in a nutshell, that's mostly Abbotsford and what it has to offer. This is what it looks like. Beautiful mountain views. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe to the channel. And if you want more content like this showing the different areas around Metro Vancouver, uh, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to shoot more like this, Surrey, Langley, whatever. Um, just let me know. Thanks guys, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.